Happy Monday from Bangkok! Uh, Sarah and I, we're gonna go to a restaurant called Cabbages and Condoms. But first, I gotta get to my dentist appointment. Boss Avenue, the complete man. So this street supposedly has a lot of Arab restaurants. Alright, we decided to go indoor where the AC is. You could hang like a towel on the back of these chairs. This restaurant is called Nefertiti. Pigeon rice? Wait, is that real pigeon? That's pickle, lime, scallion. I love how everything here is branded. I mean, look at their cups, their logo is on there. And even look at their napkin. And of course their plate. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. It reminds me a little bit like hanyak. Mm, yeah. Herbal, like herbal oriental medicine. Yeah. It's not like any coffee you've ever had. No. It's not like I'm gonna grow a third eye though. <laughs> Is real. <laughs> That'll help ward off the evil eye. <laughs> Which is very fitting to this theme. Sarah got her kebab sandwich and the ends are wrapped like a candy. It looks spicy. There's like chilies in that, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, there's something very very fresh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, that first bite was very like refreshing and kind of sweet, and then like it's not even like a one hit. It's like it's like a poke that that goes in deeper and deeper and deeper. I'm kind of tearing up right now. <laughs> I had such a small sip. There's not enough time to keep talking. <laughs> I gotta eat and make it to my dentist appointment. The hummus game is quite strong in this. If you look closely at the wrap. There's sprinkles of white sesame seeds. It's 12.52. I just got my teeth cleaned. We did a lot of walking the other day. So we're gonna get a massage. And specifically, we're gonna get massaged by blind people. Okay, I'm gonna get a coconut. <laughs> This particular area, there are so many different kinds of districts. Like there is like an Arab district, and then there is a Korea town, and then there's a red light district, and then there's a bunch of dental clinics. One of the challenges of getting street food is it's hard to find trash cans around here. So you kind of have to just use this as like weight lifts, you know? <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, nice. I'm really feeling this right now. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> just in time. We just got on at Nana and we're heading towards Moshit. I'm not kidding you, that's how you pronounce it. Terrain. One side has major traffic, the other side, well, obviously not so much. Second floor, blind massage. Wow. Oh, it's really narrow. What does it say? Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Oh. The only thing worse than being blind is having sight and no vision. Oh. Be proud of who you are, not ashamed of how someone else see you. Can I get an O? O. The eyes are useless when the mind is blind. O. When you get a massage here, a portion of the proceeds go to different foundations for the blind in Thailand. Gotta fill this out. Ah, kapunka. We got some tea. Oh, we got slippers. I love how it gets really detailed. I mean, take a look at this. It tells you where circle, like areas you want to focus on, and areas you don't want people to touch you. 
and on top of that they gave us cards of who our masseuses and their details like okay 32 years old talent is internet surfing oh that's my talent too <laughs> and this card tells you how to wear the thai fisherman pants That was like a really nice natural sound effect to hear in the background. I've gotten a lot of Thai massages in my life, maybe about a dozen or two dozen, but this is the first time I lay on my side and they would massage me. And this lady knew all the hot spots, like where to push, and she also pinched me like right here and it felt so like it was spicy, but it was so refreshing. I feel like a newborn. I feel like I just crawled out of the womb. It's not just a subway that's like crazy packed. Look at that, look at all that traffic. There's no way out. You just gotta wait it out. This is our second attempt to get on this. Do you think we'll be able to get on this one? Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> Probably next one, maybe next one. Attempt number three. Dude, we barely made it inside. We're like totally squished right now. This is precious real estate right there. <laughs> darling, feeling is darling. You're fine at the slush parlor for man and woman. One man? Customer, yeah. Yeah, and many women. Yeah. Guess where we're headed to? Back where we first started. We're gonna get dinner at that special place. Welcome. Look at the lighting fixture, you guys. I wonder what that is made of. Or if you look closely, all the rubber is falling apart. Oh, Santa Claus. Nice greenery and then you get all these like you know the Christmas lights hanging from yes. the trees. It's actually quite nice. Yes, but we're gonna go indoors because it's quite heaty. Our food is guaranteed not to cause pregnancy. Special menu. Anytime it says special at this restaurant, I'm a little scared. Is it a shrimp chip? It's crunchy. So that's good. <gasps> How cute is that? Tung thong. You need a thong? It probably is pronounced as tung thong. We just got the signature dish here. This is the condom salad. So you guys, like, it's not real condom. A lot of young people these days start getting active. So please be mindful. Don't get accidentally pregnant. Don't get diseases. As you can see, there's some carrots, some cabbages. Of course, cabbages, that's the name of this restaurant. And then we got some shrimp. Sweet and spicy. Think of it as a spicy candy. And so these little jelly-like things, these are supposed to represent condoms. If you look at it, it unravels. It has the texture of pasta. The contrast is quite nice on that dark rice and you get this drizzle of the orange. Two condoms, one for Sarah and one for me. Happy early birthday.
to be honest, I'm not super hungry. I'm not hungry at all, but my taste buds need something extra. This Japanese lantern is lighting in this little lane filled with shops. I'm not a big fan of shopping, but this place makes me want to shop. There's sumo wrestlers hugging the column. We made it to floor 5 and this is where all the food is. The prices here is like Thai street food price. Not that expensive at all. For mushroom that's 30 baht. Spicy tofu and tomato is 30 baht. Oh, sticky rice! I got a shaved ice. With uh, this almost looks like garlic but it's not. And this is a lotus. This is your message. Let's try this uh, tripe looking thing. That has a texture of like kelp. Okay, let's try this lotus. I feel a little happier now. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Do not underestimate the wonders of a food court. <laughs> uh, cabbages and condoms. Uh, we could say that we tried it once. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Stealing my bowl, my dessert soup. We don't regret going there. Like, we could say we went. I should stop vlogging because Sarah's gonna eat all my dessert <laughs> soup. We're on our way home now. It's past 10 30. It's been a long day. Hope you guys enjoy eating with us, hanging out with us. And see you in the next travel vlog. Bye bye. The sausage is quite small. It's just like one small bite right here. Sprinkle in some ginger in there. And let's also put some red onion. All about the crunch, baby. When you get the coconut ice cream, you gotta have the corn with it. 